Yes, talking about the Canadians. Yes, greetings from Toronto. <laughs> oh, dear Toronto. I was there not so long ago. Yeah, not so long ago, indeed. Well, listen, we're happy that you are where you are and you're giving us what you're giving us. Guys, this series was amazing. I couldn't stop. I watched all 10 episodes. It's fantastic. And so, Graham, let's just start with you because I wanted to know, um, you know, you had some pretty good source material here from Hugh's yep. series, I have to say. What was it that actually, you know, connected you and thought, man, this is going to make a great series? Well, there's a, a couple things. One, you said it's great source material. And my, I believe that don't do don't adapt something unless you love it uh there's don't fight it um i love the work of elmore leonard and that you know translated yeah. to working on justified and so um and also work on slow horses and i love mick heron's novels and i love hugh's novels and the world he created the other thing though it's not just the world he created it was oh this has legs this has places to go it's a big big mystery that you yeah. peel back one layer at a time and each time you get an answer, you get three more questions. And so that felt to me like, oh, this this has got some place to go. And then lastly, but in many ways, most importantly, it's got a central character that you just root for because, and we were talking about this, we love the reluctant hero, you know? Oh yeah. Oh my it's, goodness, for it, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to, I want to talk about Julia uh, Jules in a few seconds of that character. She's unbelievable. And some of the other ones too, but um, Hugh, for you, I mean, where does this idea stem from? I honestly, where does your brain go? Like, it's such a great story of how you became and how these books all, you know, caught everybody's attention. But when you sat down to write it, like, where did you start? Uh, one of the things I drew on um, when I sailed into Cuba for the first time, it was uh, over 20 years ago, uh, Americans weren't really allowed to go there. And we had been told what Cuba was like and what to expect and how we'd be treated. And what I found was completely different. It was right. a very welcoming, um, I mean, the most welcoming place I think I've ever visited. And I started realizing, okay, what I'm, what I'm seeing on the screen is not what's out there. What's right. out there is often much more beautiful. Uh, I used to volunteer in the Bronx with uh, um, a soup kitchen and, and I would live in the Bronx while we were working. And you, you play soccer with kids in the street. You see people falling in love. It's not what you're told is happening. So writing this story for me was really a way of challenging us to, um, to not believe the, the news if it's, um, if it's always just bad news, which is you know, what, what we get fed a lot. Yeah, you're hundred percent right. Yeah. Th this story is just, it's extraordinary. I can't, I couldn't even imagine living underground in a silo for the rest of my life, but you know, they don't and know the, any different, right? So they don't then, know any different. And then the pandemic happened and we all had to live inside for exactly but at least we were able to go out on our porches and get a yeah. little fresh air right but right. anyway i digress okay we need to talk about rebecca ferguson because my god we know how amazing that woman is but she just she's extraordinary in this graham why do you think she made such a good jewels because not only does she, is she starring she took took it upon herself to be a producer as well she her passion is evident in this series there's no question <laughs> Right. So on the call sheet, there's the, 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 they call it the number one. Who's number one on the call sheet? And there's, she's number one. And as I've said to her now for a couple of years, you're a great number one. I mean, <laughs> she really leads the cast and the crew without doing anything. So very much like Juliet in that she's not saying, follow me. They, you just sort of follow her because she sets a good example. Um, she's very funny and friendly and loves working. Um, so she's, she's been a lot of fun to work with. She's just great. We were talking about that first moment when we saw her in Mission Impossible. Um, yeah. I forget which one it was, but it was like, where the hell did she come from? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so we've been following her for a long time. Felt just blessed that she's- Yeah, uh, I'm sure you have to wrap, but just to see Jul Juliet come to life and as uh, Rebecca bringing her life must've been extraordinary for you. Oh man, I feel, I've been so lucky so much in my life, but this is just another example, like getting this cast and crew has yeah. been unbelievable. Yeah, well, it's a great series. I love it. And oh, who cool. knows what's beyond for season two. I don't know if there's a season two, but I, I want to I wanna go there. <laughs> we want to tell the whole story. That's what we want to okay, do. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Great seeing Thank you and best you. of luck with everything. Take Thanks. care. Cheers. Bye. Bye.